Hello there, Lamb. I see that you've written these essays. I'm very happy to see them. Let's take a look into what you wrote. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Kim, there should be a comma here. My name is Tran Man Lam, an exchange student participating in the here English and Homeschool Program. You might already be informed by the advisor about the arrangement wherein I have the pleasure to stay at your lovely place for one month. However, I reckon it would be inappropriate and not no and ungrateful not to introduce myself in advance. Okay, that's fine. I am twenty two years old, a third year student studying computer science, apart from writing okay. Full stop here. Apart from my regular study routine, comma, cooking and archery are my other passions, S. Um, if Mrs. Kim does not mind, I am more than willing to cook for the family on weekends, S, in order to words to repay your hospitality somehow, as well as to show you the exceptional, unique taste of Vietnamese cuisine. It's you, I, here. Lastly, I need your help with some basic information to prepare for the trip. First, how is the weather in the UK this time of year? Some of my senior, I don't know what this means here, my senior, uh, told me, no, told me here it could be extremely cold, while others said it should be just chilly, not chilling. Chilling means something different. Second, is there a bus route from your place to the university? Getting here and there by taxi could be costly, so I would bring more cash with me if that, not it, were the case. Looking forward to hearing from you. Full stop here. Sincerely, Lamb. Okay. Um, it's good. It's, um, you've done everything you're supposed to do. If anything, I would ask you to be a little more formal because you don't really know these people. You've never met them. You're just introducing yourself by letter. And so, um, I mean, it's, fairly formal. I would say it's neutral towards formal, but there are a couple things that um, I would prefer. First of all, um, in a formal letter, we don't use contractions, so none of this don't or I'm, all right? Um, and the other thing that we do is, in formal letters, we try to use um, less direct language, which means indirect questions, more polite language, and let me show you where you could have been more polite this for me um this conditional statement here while it was nice it felt a little informal um you could have said not if mrs kim does not mind i'm more than willing to cook but uh it would bring me great pleasure if i could cook for your family in order to repay your hospitality okay um this i need your help was also a little too direct in english we try to be less direct with requests like this so would it be possible for you to provide me some basic information for the trip? Could you tell me the weather in the UK this time of year? Um, I would like to know if there is a bus route. All right. So these are some ways that we make language sound less direct and uh, a little more polite and obviously a little more formal. Okay. So uh, don't forget your punctuation, comma here, full stop here. Sincerely was fine because you started with their name. So that's absolutely fine. Let's take a look now at your task two. International marketing. Okay, you're supposed to discuss both views and give your opinion. Okay, so let's move on to your task two. Here we go. It is a controversial topic of international marketing, whether it is an essential and sustainable way for organizations to influence wider ranges of audiences or as believed by some people can introduce true local culture and economy okay there are some problems here um grammar and lexis so let's change those okay um so first of all this is the wrong syntax it should be it is a controversial topic whether international marketing is an essential and sustainable way for organizations to influence wider ranges of audience or as we with some people if it invades local culture and economy all right those uh that would be a better way of phrasing this in my opinion it is a very thin line between the two and by understanding the community 
It is targeting no two. Global firms can bring success, singular, uh, to their campaigns with minimal risk. Okay, fine. Uh, occasionally, marketing campaigns of multinational organizations are considered offensive or even worse. A blasphemy, comma, a blasphemy to the people whom they are trying to reach. As the population 1P of the world is divergent, creating a campaign tailored for a specific group of people might anger, you want the verb form here, the rest. Moreover, even in some small regions or countries, their citizens comprise of a diversity of ethnic groups who have various belief systems, points of view, point, points of view, and behaviors. So explain to me why that's a problem. Okay, to understand, you need to extend this. You clearly have understood what we mean by um, international marketing, and that's great because a lot of people have misunderstood the topic, so you haven't. You understand what the topic is, but you need to um, you need to get into more detail. So, for example, when you say it might anger the rest, give me an example. So, say for example, um, I don't know, like a clothing commercial uh, that is, uh, pff, I don't know, maybe targeted towards one group of people in a country might offend, say for example, a religious minority in that country. Okay, so give me an example of what you mean here. Um, and then this almost is like the same idea. So just extend. And whenever you put, whenever you have a main idea, you have to extend it with some sort of explanation, some sort of example, um, or just some sort of extension of what you mean. All right, moving on. However, others believe in the upsides of international marketing. Local companies, go away. Local companies and marketers can always learn from what global giants do to spread their influence. And what do you mean? Explain to me. All right. So tell me that in this way, uh, international marketing can be educational. It provides ideas to the local country companies. All right. That's what I mean. Extend your idea. Explain it. In addition, exposing. Uh, no, you don't mean exposing. You mean exposure to multiple points of view, singular here, and different culture could enrich itself as well as the people within it. Recently, some advertisers in Vietnam started to imitate interesting advertisement formats of Thai people and combined with their own signature. You mean and combined them with their own signature to create group and community commercials of their own. Okay, fine. In my opinion, to avoid unwanted situations and reach the desired audience in different parts, plural, here, of the world, a company needs S to conduct adequate research and study before airing their marketing campaigns to guarantee their success. Nonetheless, they can always introduce their own twists and culture in a smart and ah, uh, smart, interesting way, as I am confident that people from less developed countries are willing to learn from these giants. To conclude, if international marketing is done properly, it could contribute greatly to the development of the marketers as well as to education and culture of the local culture and economy by exchanging ideas and ways of thinking around the world globe. Okay, so um, the good news is, is, like I said, you understood the topic, which is great because a lot of people don't. Um, a few things. I generally hear we are not really in favor of a five-paragraph structure. You should really try to have um, two paragraphs, main paragraph, so an introduction, main body one, main body two, and then your conclusion. So I would have preferred if you had kind of stuck this on to the side that you agreed with more. Um, you needed to extend your ideas more. So you had some great ideas, but you just didn't go into enough detail with them. There were some grammar things throughout, um, but the vocabulary for the most part was rather good. Uh, your ideas were good. Like I said, you just didn't extend them. So there's some good elements to this essay, but there is some work that absolutely needs to be done. Um, I think that it would serve you well if you were to sign on to the online course to really understand how to structure essays and how to develop them, how to come up with support, how to come up with ideas. So do look into that option. Um, I know that there are multiple options available with us, so take a look at the option that suits you best. I think that together we can really help uh, support you and help you develop in your writing. So I hope to see more of your writing very soon. Good luck and uh, keep on writing.